Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. J360 Radio. Hello, J360 Legion, and welcome to the J360 Mini Bites here on J360 Radio, hosted by J.M. Brady. I am your host, J.M. Brady. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on, guys? How are you all tonight? Yup. It's a new week, and it's definitely Tuesday, and uh, yeah, I'm really here right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy, right? Like, I've been working on and getting a whole lot of stuff ready for right now, and I still can't believe, like, March just snuck up on us like this. Not to mention that Mardi Gras came along, too. Oh, so happy Mardi Gras today. Goodness, man. We really are just going through it, huh? Not bad, though. You know, it's still my year and everything. I'm just like, damn. (laughs) And um, not to mention that the weather has been pretty nice as of late, so I was like, yo, this is great. You know? You think Phil was trolling us, you know, by saying that there was going to be six more weeks of winter? Because uh, uh, I ain't feeling it. <laughs> yeah, it's just little things like that, man. It's been actually pretty nice around here lately. So, you know, it's just that way. But soon enough, I better enjoy it while I can because soon enough, it's going to be smoldering. <laughs> yep. I'm going to be back out there doing some event videography soon. So you remember when I said on the J-Man show, GTB? Yeah, that's pretty much what GTB is. Get the bag, baby. All that money just coming in. Ah, yes. I can see myself like Scrooge McDuck now. Of course, you know, you got to admit, Scrooge McDuck feels no pain, man. Because, I mean, diving into coins like that. Now, if it was anybody else in real life, I would I would highly disregard that idea. But you understand, just swimming around in that money. Like, yeah, yeah. Of course, I had to quickly take a bath afterwards and all that stuff. But you get my drift. Oh, man. <laughs> the plan's gonna be looking good after a while. So as I'm sitting here and uh, um, outlining a few things, guys, because I'm doing double duty right now. Yeah, I still have a bunch of episodes to actually restore on the J360Productions.com site. But hey, shout outs to you if you're listening from there or wherever you're listening from. And if you manage to stumble upon this show, hi, I'm Jamin. Yep, so if anything, it's just really getting a whole lot of things here, the ducks in a row, and we go from there. Now, a lot of people have asked me, like, would I cancel a Jams episode for that? No, actually, but I do have a plan and play for it if I have to cover an event on the same day as a Jams episode. And sometimes those days can get pretty long. So, you know, like, say, like, if I'm doing something that Friday night and I can't get back to you guys at that time... Believe me, I have something in play. So don't you worry. Don't you worry. You still get your fix. And I still am the host. So don't you worry. <laughs> that, that whole thing's been remedied. And then you see the whole point about it is, you guys still get an excellent party. And if I am there live again, you know what I mean? You guys came first. So don't be feeling all like that. You understand? Speaking of jams too, um, I managed to catch an idea that there's another band camp Friday coming up this week. So that's when, you know, Bandcamp um, waves their administrative rights, well, not administrative rights, but, you know, like, the money that you get when you purchase, like, an album or so from Bandcamp goes directly to the artist and helps them out. So we have that coming up this week, this Friday, and it's from midnight to, let's see, Pacific Time Midnight. So, (laughs) that's going to be pretty cool. I mean, like, a whole day of that, man. Wouldn't that be, you know, that's just great. I love that. Mm. Because I have a lot of things I have to buy. And not to mention, like, a lot of my friends are actually releasing some stuff this week. And, you know, like I said, more money, more magic. Keep things going full circle. No matter who you're supporting. And please, please, make sure you actually have the means to support if you can. I know, like, things are hard. Mm. Not to mention uh, a lot of other stuff that's going on out there. But which, by the way, like I said, we will get through this. We've been through worse. I'd like to think so. I mean, this this stuff has happened before, but we will get through this, okay? So stay positive. Stay strong for the people of Ukraine. And, uh, oh, man. You know, it's just politics, man. It's just, 
Once again, it's a whole scenario where people play football with somebody else's life, man. It just, I hate it. I've hated that for a long time. And I usually don't hate anything. But when it comes right down to that stuff, it's like nobody asked for that. And talking about all this other stuff, it's just propaganda just to serve a stupid, stupid thing that, you know, once again, nobody wanted. And he was sitting over there just waiting for this whole thing. But all in all, though, we just have to see how this stuff goes. And I'm telling you this, I'm just very disappointed. Uh, anyway, if y'all had a chance to watch that State of the Union, I have to go look at it. So, you know, spoiler, spoiler, you know what I mean? I got to go ahead and look it over and get ready for that part. Hopefully I don't have to cover it on the next J-Man show because, like, I have other things to take care of. Oh, which, by the way, um, for those of you that were asking, is there a Monster Fest this year? Of course there is. Hello? We can't do a do a year without a Monster Fest. That's just not right. Or, or, or for those of you, you Furia fans, that don't make it right. Nah. What it is is that, trust me, I ain't watched a damn show. More or less, I just heard like everybody's like, oh, Lana Del Rey's back. And I'm like, really? And then all of a sudden, that stuff started playing all the time on radios around here. I'm like, oh my god. It is. It's Lana Del Rey. Is she back? I right. Mm-hmm. All in all, though, I still, like I said before, I've seen so many John Singleton uh, movies and a lot of, you know, it's very special episodes growing up. Like, th- you're not telling me anything with that series, but those of y'all like it, you know, and Zendaya has, like, a whole damn armada that surrounds her. Similar to, like, if anything, Zendaya is like, the second coming of Beyonce or something. You know what I mean? It's like, everybody loves her, man. I mean, she's not bad. It's just that, you know, once again, I'm like... I just don't care for the series. You know what I mean? But, yeah, HBO needs another winner after uh, how Game of Thrones went down. So, they're, they're riding that horse. But also, guess what comes out this week? The Batman does. Now, remember when I said I didn't care about this movie? Yeah, I still don't. But the thing is, though, I know a lot of y'all are really excited for it. So, don't let me hold you up. Go see the movie if you want to. Go enjoy it. But stay away from shills because... Right now, it's got the whole mixed review thing. Like, I was sharing that with the boys at SOTA the other day. Like, IGN gave it a 10, whereas GameSpot gave it a 6. And I don't, well, I really don't pay attention to Rotten Tomatoes anyway. But but you get what I'm saying. I'm thinking Rotten Tomatoes gave it a, a certified fresh at 100. But I, I'm also thinking this. Is it because the movie's good? Or is it because, like, a lot of people were saying, oh, this was totally worth the wait and hype? Because, I mean, the delays have really kind of slowed the hype up for me. But, you know, better late than never, right? So it's like one of them kind of things. Me, on the other hand, I'm just like, hmm. No, nah, because I got another movie in mind that I've been looking forward to. So I ain't really worried about the Batman right off. You know what I'm saying? I might go see it, like, later on this month. Because, I mean, there's a lot to do. Oh, and for those that were asking me about, like, special events, and, um, what in the hell is... Leave me alone, Alan, I'm doing the mini bites right now. <laughs> uh, speaking of Alan and stuff, yeah, we got a mini... We got a Hangouts episode happening later this week. It's Hangouts week, guys. And let me just tell you this, Hangouts week is just as important as Jams week. For those of you artists out there that want to go ahead and be on a Hangouts episode, you know, we still have some things open up for April and then June and then, no, let's see, are we doing stuff in May? Probably not. I'm just kidding. (laughs) April, May, June, yeah, we we got plenty of stuff opened up. So if you guys want to go ahead and reserve your spot, email j360productions at outlook.com and let me know, like, certain dates. We got to go ahead and punch things through. Like, two of the reserve people I have, they're already set for the month and then, like, you know, because... It goes along with jams. So, like, say this, for those that don't know, you have jams week in the beginning, right? Okay, the following week is a hangouts week. And then, like, you know, the pattern here. See what I'm saying? So that's usually how it goes down. So if you really want to be on it, you know, email me and we'll talk it out. Especially if it's an interview setting. Now, if it's a panel setting, you know, panel settings are a little different. You know, if you really want to be on the panel, just let me know. It's usually four. So you just go ahead and... Get on the horn, tell me that, hey, I want to be on the panel or I want to be on an interview setting, and I will take it from there. Uh, some other people asked me this. Uh, I mentioned that there might be a small event because some of y'all can't wait till October for the Monster Fest, and I've been listening to you, and actually I've been digging and looking into that because I had a plan a long time ago when I started the J-Man show, and it was for me to cover something at least like two weeks. 
So I want to say mm, nothing's not set in stone yet, but I kind of want to scratch that itch. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that, okay? And if anything, like I've mentioned before, the J360 TV TikTok has been active for a while now. And there are certain things that I'm not putting on Instagram anymore that started on Instagram, but they're going over there to TikTok. So, you know, like the J-Man does art and video and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's going over there. Eh, you know, just give you guys something to laugh about. I know how, like some of y'all are like, yeah, TikTok is cringe and I don't want to go over there. Oh, yeah, I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to do that stuff. It's like, okay, what? Ever. This is my benefit, and for those that love the Jade Band show and all that stuff that are over on TikTok, just go ahead and sit there, and I'll throw stuff to Instagram eventually. <laughs> you see how empty that that promise was? I'm just kidding. Just kidding. But the truth is, is that, yeah, that that's actually getting some of the video stuff there that Instagram loves to block back for some reason. I, I don't know, man. Oh, which, by the way, another thing about social media, some of um, some of the Jam Fam were actually erased off of my Instagram for some reason. It wasn't me. I'm going to let y'all know that. It wasn't me. Because I managed to meet up with somebody on, um, on there, and I was like, hey, what happened? Is everything good? And she told me that I, you know, that she was misplaced off of there, and I was like, mm, that wasn't me because I don't have a problem with it. Let me, let me put you back on here. So if you got unfollowed at some point, trust me, it wasn't me. And I will remedy it, all right? Because I hate that about social media now. You know, like, they go ahead and they unfollow the people that have been there for a long time. And I'm like, you know, you, you ever see that Samuel L. Jackson meme or that scene from Pulp Fiction where anybody asks you a, you know, a damn thing, pretty much? That was me. That's pretty much me right now regarding, like, my followers and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, who the hell asked you to unfollow people? Yeah, it's just uh, just stupid, man. Other than that, though, as I'm cleaning up that mess, and then as I'm taking a look at the um, WordPress right now, things are going pretty good. Like, you know, we're, we're pretty stable here. And, and I'm just seeing how the growth is coming in. So, got to just stay focused on this one. But anyway, it's almost to the end, so let me go ahead and get your schedule right now. Oh, and uh, since it's March, by the way, everything is getting a shade of green on it so pay attention to all the stuff and artwork that's being thrown at you because you might see a pattern again all right so here's your schedule this week you have the mini bites happening right now you got the j man show happening tomorrow you got the j360 power play which is stable again thank god happening on thursday and then you also have j360 hangouts happening on friday night and then that's pretty much it for there now, those have asked me about the SOTA pod, I believe it's coming back this week. I just don't know what the date is yet. So as soon as I hear back, chances are I will let you guys know on any of the following shows because, hey, they're all connected. So you know what I mean? If you're listening to one, chances are you know you might want to pay attention to a certain one so you can get the inside information. But, you know, that's just the way it is. And I'm sure, like, the boys are ready to go. And since we got the whole spring fever and stuff like that happening, I am playing some juggling right now. But you see, at the end of all this, though, guess whose uh, pockets are going to be full? Ah, uh, my wallet. I've just been dreaming of a nice, fat wallet. You know what I mean? All that stuff coming together. Mm, mm, mm. Well, hey, hey, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, shoot, you got to play get the bag sometime. It pays off in the end. Let's see. Let me see that DoorDash application right here. Hmm, yes, be a dasher. Uh, anyway, anyway, y'all heard too much. And no, don't get to be like, hey, Jay, man, I want you to deliver stuff to my house. And I'll be like, mm hmm. That'd be funny if I actually delivered to some of you other content creators and stuff like that out there. <laughs> Do like cameo appearances for no damn reason. That'd be actually, that'd be kind of, kind of actually sick, you know? So anyway, um, that's pretty much what I got for you guys right now in terms of like where the content's going and how the outlook's looking. And man, it is looking good. So you guys just stay tuned from here on out. Take care of yourselves. Remember like COVID's not over. Just be safe about this stuff. Actually, just be 100% safe, period. Keep an eye out on things around you. Just don't be paranoid. Live your lives to the best. And remember you're loved. So take care of yourselves. I will catch you all on the J-Man Show tomorrow, and we will go from there, all right? So this is J-Man signing off. Peace.
Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.